I bought these headphones really cheap for like uh, 10 bucks. They work very well, but they are very uncomfortable because this is soft but very small and however you put it on it really pushes on your ears and after an hour or two uh, it really really hurts so what I'm planning to do is take out the electronics right here it's only in this little space here even the ear cup is separated you can see so it's in just this box here's the battery the buttons, the charging port, and a micro SD slot. Yeah, I got all this for 10 bucks. I think it resembles the Beats design. But uh, yeah, this is some Chinese crap. So I want to take this apart, take out the electronics, maybe put back a plate here so it doesn't look too bad. And then. I put the electronics in a tiny box and then I'll be able to connect it to this headphone and to my preferred ones, these really old ones from Philips, really used but this, this is really comfortable. This is the model, if you can see, SHP1900, I think it's still selling, uh, available. Uh, it was like 20 bucks. Not really expensive, but it has a great sound. And even though this is falling apart, the leather part, uh, yeah, it, it barely has any leather on it. <laughs> this is really great sound. I will have to clean it sometime soon, hopefully. But anyway, I will take off the cord and put a 3.5 millimeter jack here. And the Bluetooth box will have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So I will just plug the box here and it will be instantly Bluetooth. Hopefully. So, for now I will just take apart this, this part so I can see what's inside and how can I achieve my goal the quickest way, the easiest way. Quick and easy, yeah, that's it. Okay, so nice and easy. I will take a blade, a box cutter, and start prying it apart. That's the easiest way. Maybe a little focus, and I'll just insert it here. It's no problem if it breaks. Just don't cut myself. Oh, it just snaps out. Cool. Easier than I thought. Like that. Hopefully the other... Oh, the other side has to be separated. Two. Quite an ingenious locking mechanism here. Then this falls out, okay. And... It's free! Man, this was easy. So, here's the electronics, but where's the battery? I can't see the battery. Let's uh, unscrew it. There are two screws holding it. One here. And one here. Oh, the battery is underneath. Here are the two cables that I mustn't short. Here's the positive and negative. And... Oh, the battery is inside. Yeah, they cheated. <laughs> it's inside of here. That's disappointing, because then I have to take it apart. Uh, and it's held with a stupid screw here. So let's see. Without shorting it, be careful not to put anything metallic there. 
take apart this and how is this put together this snaps like the rest yeah cool this has the speaker and here's the battery uh, quite nice battery wait a minute this is quite large but it's glued oh boy how can I get it out without damaging it uh, this is soft it has a soft casing gently twist it or something it's not coming off I have to cut the glue but anyways I have to desolder it because I can't push the battery through the hole so yeah I have to desolder it and then leave the audio cable there only so let's see where is my soldering iron everything falling apart nice Okay, back with the soldering iron. So let's see. Oh, and I must protect this so it doesn't short. Wait, it has a microphone. I I do, wasn't able to access it. Here's a microphone. That's weird. A tiny little microphone. Hmm. And it doesn't want to pick up the call when it's connected to the phone hmm here's the antenna the microchip nice okay so let's disconnect the battery I mean let's cut let's cut one wire so that doesn't give us problems and the other one I desolder so it's nice and protected like that kind of weird that they put this closer to your ear <laughs> if anything happens only this plastic is protecting your ear if it blows up or something <laughs> okay interesting yeah It's marked here so I can take out these uh, cables, no problem. Oh, I see. This is interesting. This is why the radio doesn't work. Here's a spot where you should solder the the antenna <laughs> no antenna oh wait there is this little wire on the other side <laughs> that's cute that's so cute this blue wire should be the antenna <laughs> okay if they say so anyway it doesn't work it doesn't pick up one station it's just static okay it's taken off and this is a nice little piece of electronics let's see what kind of chip is this focus maybe and tell us 
Uh, it's really hard to read. Some small letters there. AS19 AP2 26 slash 7 and it's covered in paint. Whatever. It's probably stolen from a factory. But here's the manufacturing date. And it's kind of nice. From 2019. Bluetooth 2.4.2 uh, uh, Yeah Nice So I will just uh, put the plug in in there In here so I can still use these headphones for something else and uh, Yeah That will be it and this has been bothering me. Maybe I can allow more movement if I move that. Yeah. But still, it's not ideal. I can't listen to music with this because it's too, too tight. Even if I loosen it some. So yeah. That's it for now, and uh, I will show you the finished product, I think. Yeah, this is straightforward, what I'm doing. <laughs>